Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're talking about EC-135 or 145 Airbus helicopter, the sliding doors, the door latch in the middle. It's got that roll in the middle, and most of the time, guys just don't look at them because they just don't think about it, but you'll find those wore out quite frequently, so this video, we're just gonna review on how to replace them and what the part number is. Slops around that much, then yeah, that's something's wrong with that. It's wore out. All right, that's the roll. That's the part number for the roll, B521, Mike 3044201. There's the part number for the collar bolt. Same part number, except it ends in 42201. So the lock washer or retaining washer has a part number of DIN 6799-4. They're like 15 cents a piece or 30 cents a piece. So if you order them from Airbus, they're going to send you a bag of 100 for like 20, 20 bucks. And then you could send them to the uh, you could send them to the parts hub since they didn't have any when I needed them. And uh, anyway, we're gonna go over how to find the part number real quick. So you'll find these parts under the uh, pack doors, the passenger doors, which is 52-13. And it's if you scroll all the way down, it's the lock assembly at the very bottom. This is in the uh, EC135 IPC, and it's 52-13-20-01. So if we zoom in, it has the roll, the collar bolt, and the lock washer all right there with the part numbers. So that's pretty easy to get to. Might be kind of hard to find this, so that's why I'm giving you the uh, dr drill down to the IPC. So after you take this roll out, you want to look at what do they call this thing. They call this thing the rack. Look at the holes inside of it and make sure they're not all um, wallered out or whatever. I've probably changed it, uh, these rolls on, these, on the doors on maybe about a dozen of these aircraft. Um, and I've only seen one of those racks wore out to a point where it was too sloppy. But if you need that rack, it's on the same IPC as the roll. So it's not too hard to find. I've never changed that rack, which is this number 120 in this in this figure here. Maybe you go order it, but it's not available, but the assembly is available. So you go back to the very top of the IPC, which is number one, which is, yeah, lock assembly. And you click that blue hyperlink, which is the next higher assembly. And that shows you the lock assembly, which is part number, it's item number 100. So if you zoom in, you click on number 100, it gives you the whole uh, drill down of all, you know, the part number that you need and everything. So I think the effectivity is, is all the aircraft, but you'll have to dig into that. I think they're the same on all the aircraft. Also, if you look at the EC-145 manual, it shows the same, same part numbers, exactly the same part numbers. And here's the figure for that. So once you get it out and clean it up and it looks and it's all wore out, you'll know it, man. It'll look like this right here. And that collar bolt, this one's super wore out. I've seen some that were worse. They were halfway worn through the collar bolt, which was pretty nuts. That's when I first saw one that was super wore out. And I said, oh man, I haven't been looking at these. If your roll looks like this on the machine with all this dirt on it, just wipe it off, man. You know, I mean, you're not going to need to check this on your daily, but you're going to want to check this every once in a while, right? Anyway. Let's go to the IPC. I mean, let's go to the uh, maintenance manual and see how we replace this if you need a reference for signing it off. The good news is if you're working on a 145, it tells you straight away. You go to AMM 5213004-7. Uh, it says effectivity lock support without, um, without pre-catch. Assemble the locking device on the left hand. It says item one, figure three. So we're on figure three and then it says install the roll seven rack and collar bolt with a new locking washer. Well, boom, super simple. So you can use that reference if you're working on a 145. If you're working on a 135, it doesn't really tell you. There's one spot it kind of tells you, but not really. So you're not going to reference the 145 maintenance manual if you're working on a 135. But you could just write down what it says here because it's just a description of what you did, right? Anyway, the 135 maintenance manual, it shows uh, effectivity on helicopters with door catching mechanism or after accomplishment of service bolt and whatever. Um, but if you look at the parts in the drawing, it's got this spring and that, I don't know, bushing and that collar bolt looks totally different. So and then it also calls out for CM, I don't even know what that is, CM 508, Nyko ProTech 8132 by Nyko. Never heard of it. The doors I've seen, they don't have this spring on it and this uh, door catching mechanism. So that's not really your reference you're going to sign it off under. 
So yeah, I would just go to the 145 manual and honestly just write down what it says. Pretty simple. I replaced the roll by removing the lock washer, collar bolt, and roll, and installed new parts in reverse order. Function check, satisfactory. I mean, it's not difficult. But there is no reference in the maintenance manual. Or maybe I missed it. Maybe you guys know where it is in the 135 manual, but this isn't really a big deal. It's not a big job. Anyway, let me know if I missed it. So once you put the new one on and you get a little bit of play, like that's not crazy play right there. You get a little bit of play. I wouldn't even worry about that. Like that's that's what the new one's going to look like. Anyway, keep it clean, you know, wipe it off every once in a while. Just a quick video on the door lock on an EC-135 and a 145 for Airbus. Listen, uh, if your helicopter's been in service for a minute and you have never looked at this, just go take a look at it, all right? It gets overlooked. That's all I'm saying. So appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you found some value in the video. If you did, hit the like. And if you want to share it, that's get the word out to the guys who work on these, these type of machines. This is kind of a niche video or a niche channel on YouTube. Just trying to uh, spread the word to people who actually work on these machines. Again, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.